Hi, this is Keisuke Andrew from Ansu Jiu Jitsu, and today we're going to do a review on the Roxfit grappling dummy. This grappling dummy you can buy on eBay for about seventy to eighty dollars, and it comes unfilled. To fill it up, um, you can put in like old T-shirts, jackets. Um, if you fill it up with old T-shirts, it's going to take more than a hundred. So what I did was I used uh, old jackets and I also used um, uh, PVC pipes that you can buy at like Home Depot. And for the leg, um, I used a little joint right here so the foot is solid and you can do heel hooks and ankle locks on it. So this grappling dummy is six feet tall and the jacket that he's got on is an A1. And the pants that he's got on is a judo gi pants, uh, size 4, which is equivalent to about a, a A2 in jiu-jitsu gi. So as you can see, um, the pants is too short and the gi top is too long. So I like the leg length for leg locks, but the arm is really short on this grappling dummy. Alright, so if you want to work your gi chokes, this grappling dummy works very well. When you pull on the gi on the lapel, you have a really good feel because the neck is pretty thick on this grappling dummy. But when you're going for something like an arm lock, um, you can just tell how short the arm is. I mean, this is a six feet tall grappling dummy and the arm is super short. And this dummy is wearing an A1 gi. And the A1 gi is still too big for this grappling dummy. With uh, any kind of twisting arm locks, it does have a good feel. Um, it's not too floppy, you know, if it's filled up. So for leg locks, um, the length of the leg on this grappling dummy is really good. I can really fit in well. And if you want to work transitions, this grappling dummy filled is uh, about 35 pounds. So you can maneuver it pretty well. If you practice mixed martial arts, I think you'll really like this grappling dummy. Compared to practicing your ground and pound on a heavy bag laying on the ground, it's much more fun with this grappling dummy. And you can work your transitions, you can work your, uh, your positions, especially from um, positions like guard bottom, being able to work your ground and pound is really nice. Something that's really difficult to do with a heavy bag. And with a, a life training partner, you really have to pull your punches, your strikes, to make sure uh, you don't hurt your training partner. And with a grappling dummy, you can do these kind of illegal strikes, like to the elbow, you know, to the head, and you can really go all out. Like flying strikes, uh, flying punches from over the top of guard, something that you can't really practice with a live training partner. Stop to the face. Nobody's gonna let you do that. So this grappling dummy, it's great for leg locks, chokes, transitions, ground and pound, but you can't do too much in ways of uh, arm locks just because of the short arms. And me personally, I would pay more for uh, a grappling dummy with a longer arms. But if you're on a budget, and you don't mind the shorter arms, you know, this would still work well for you. But um, I think long term, if you're going to be doing a lot of jujitsu drills, you're going to want something with longer arms for sure. Okay, so for me, the way I use my grappling dummy is uh, whenever I watch instructional videos on YouTube, Instagram, um, I just grab the grappling dummy and try it. You know, and surprisingly, a lot of techniques you'll be able to do on a grappling dummy. And it's nice not having to wait to go to the gym the next day to practice techniques. Alright, I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.